Welcome to our 50th Mugs and Flats Sesame Street 50th anniversary. What a great turnout. Beautiful day yesterday and today. As you can see, we have a lot of events going on with the organizers that did this event. Is people from everywhere that came, like Vancouver, Chilliwack, oh gosh, Killer Lake, Alberta, Grand Prairie, a lot of people. And a lot of us are related because we are all did come from Moggison Flats and where I'm standing is where Moggison Flats was. And I just, just behind me here is where we lived. And just, like I said, there's a lot of, all the families that lived in Moggison Flats are here attending and it's, everybody's having fun. It's so great to see everybody I haven't seen for 20 years or so. And thank you to the organizers, Leanne McPeters, Adele Avery, Letha Dowd, and Lynette Desjardins and Ruby Knott. They did a lot of work to, to hold this event. And they did a beautiful job. For, for people that don't know what Mugs and Flats was, is, this is where we lived. This is where we squatted 50 years ago. Um, we just lived in shacks. We had no power, no running water, no nothing. We were all pretty poor, but we all survived. I, don't, I myself don't remember ever being hungry because we had hunters and everybody shared. And yes, yeah, so in 1971, they uh, built Wabi Crescent. I guess I started in 1969. I'm going to say it took a couple of years to build the houses in Wabi Crescent. And that's where they all moved us to. And the houses were not free. We had to pay a mortgage and a dollar for the lot. So everybody here now is Marks and Flats and Sesame Street. So it's great to see.